So today we're covering your most annoying, irritating, and frustrating body problems. And ladies, we know you all wonder about this issue. So Candace from Hartford, Connecticut writes, okay, Dr. Travis, please explain to me why do men always scratch down there? <laughs> well, number one, which, what were we talking, scratch in front or back? Because men scratch both places. We scratch everywhere. We do, I we're, have to we're clarify, apes. <laughs> I have to clarify though, in, in my case, and I think I speak for other men, it's more like not scratching, but just Rearranging. Readjusting. Yes. Making it's, things it's like just an adjustment. Perfectly. It's, like, it's like when you're, you know, you're adjusting your tie. Yes. Great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> but there are, there are legitimate reasons why we itch. We'll go through some of the uh, less obvious ones. If your man is a groomer, after you shave down there, it can be itchy as the hair grows back. Plus things, you know, you sweat down there and wherever sweat settles and then dries, that gets itchy and irritated. And, and but, it's a, but a lot has to do with the type of underwear, too. Mm -hmm. Good point. Oh, yeah. You talk about getting sweaty, so it's how much breathing is going down there. If, if things get a little stickier, then you may have to scratch. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, men who overclean down there, too much soap can dry that area. So keep it clean, but you, just like your face, you don't want to wash it 30 times a day. No, no. Because then it gets too dry. Yeah. But then there's also the, the you know, actual jock itch, which is more of a fungal infection that's pretty common too. And this may be the most common reason. Mm -hmm. If your man is constantly itching down there, constantly irritated, it's likely jock itch. Jock itch, what is it? Well, it's a microscopic fungus. It's, it's something that's so very common, but of course you may not see it unless you look down there, but it's going to be red, irritated, even ring-like. Mm -hmm. And it can be around the entire groin, travel towards the buttocks area. And this is something that can typically very easily be treated with over-the-counter topical antifungals. But the best thing to do is to prevent it in the first place. Would you not agree, gentlemen? Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Prevention. So, number one, got to let the boys breathe. So, go with breathe. the boxers, at least temporarily. Also, highly underutilized okay, resource well, here. Well, dry well after a shower. Yeah, there we little, go. Little baby powder down there. Mm -hmm. Little pat, pat dry. Yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That works. And he's ready to go. So make sure that if you're wearing briefs, make sure they're not super tight. Exactly. Yeah. Last but not least, just like in the previous segment when we talked about molluscum contagiosum, jock itch, it's a fungus. So that can actually spread as well. 